Hello everyone, welcome back. So in today's lesson, we're going to cover the area of a circle. So hopefully there's not too much dramas as this is quite a straightforward topic. Now, there's only one formula that you have to remember. So let's take a look. The area of a circle is the number of square units inside the circle. That's something we know. The area of a circle is given by area is equal to pi times r squared. So basically to find the area, you just have to know what the radius of the circle is. And that's that. Okay, so let's just go through an example. So say the question asks you to find the area of these circles correct to one decimal place, and this is the circle. So to find the area of the circle, you just write the formula first. So in this case, a equals to pi r squared. And then you have to substitute in the radius, which is 7. So then that's equal to pi times 7 squared, which equals to pi times 49, which is 49 pi. Then you have to type the 49 pi into your calculator. So let's take a look. So 49 pi, 49 pi, make sure you press the shift. And that gives you 153.9 because it's one decimal place. And they can give you another type of question where they don't give you the radius, but they give you the diameter, right? So to find the area, you have to convert the diameter into the radius. So you have to half the 11, which gives you five and a half. So then you substitute it back into the formula and you get 95 centimeters squared. All right, so these are the two examples they give you. I'm just gonna do a few more questions just to make it a bit clear. All right, so let's just take a look at 8D question one. So calculate the exact area of each circle in terms of pi. So what this means is they don't want you to use a calculator to do this, just try to do it without a calculator. So say for 1a, so we know that the area is given by pi r squared, right? And we'll put as this equal to? Well, we know that the radius is equal to 5, right? So then that's equal to pi times 5 squared, right? So then what is 5 squared? Well, 5 squared is 25, right? So then what's pi times 25? Pi times 25 is 25 pi. All right, and once you get to this answer, make sure you write the units because it does ask you to find the area. Area should be in something squared, so then 25 pi centimeters squared. Right? And, th and that's your answer. Right? So it's pretty, pretty easy, right? And another question they can ask you is, okay, let's take a look at 1e. So 1e is, just write the same formula, area equals to pi r squared. So then because in this case, they don't give us the radius, they give us a diameter. So we have to half the diameter to get the radius. So then area is equal to pi times, now what's the half of 13? Well, you can use a calculator if you want. Well, half of 13 will be six and a half, right? So 6.5 squared. And because the question wants you in terms of pi, then you just have to figure out what 6.5 squared is. So just type it, you can use this, type this into your calculator, but do not type the pi when trying to do this. So 6.5 squared is what? 42.25. So then it's pi times 42.25, which equals to 42.25 pi. Right, and the unit should be centimeter squared. Right, so hopefully these questions are pretty straightforward. I'll just do another question, say question 2e, okay, so 2e. So how do you do 2e? Well, it just says find the area, right? So then you just do area equals to pi r squared. That doesn't really get much easier than this, which equals to pi times, now the radius is what? 17.5, which is given to you, so times 17.5 squared. Then what does this equal to? But the th so the question here says give it to one decimal place. So what we can do is we can just type all of this into our calculator. So then what we do is we just type it in. Oops, type, click the wrong thing. So we just do shift pi times 17.5 squared. We get 962.11. So it's one decimal place. So then 962.1. And make sure the units is in um, so 
This is 2e, so centimeters squared, right? Okay, so that's um pretty simple. Uh, I'm just going to do one more, just so that you guys get the idea. So I'm going to do the last one. So 2l. So always write the formula down first. Area equals to pi r squared. Now, compared to the circumference, there's only one formula for this. It's pi r squared. Whereas for the circumference, if you still remember, you can have circumference equals to 2 pi r or circumference equals to pi d, right? But for this one, there's only one to remember. Now, what does this equal to? Well, what's the radius? So they give you the diameter. Diameter is 5.5. So then what's the the radius? Well, you can just do 5.5 divided by 2, right? So you can just do 5.5 divided by 2. So you get 2.75. So pi times 2.75 squared. And what is this equal to? Well, type it into your calculator again. So pi times 2.75 squared. 23.8. Okay. So 23.8. centimeters squared. Now I'm just going to tell you something that's quite important which you probably won't know until I tell you but basically when it comes to doing these questions if it says correct to one decimal place you only do the rounding in the final step. So I do not want to see anyone trying to do rounding in the intermediate steps. So for example in this step do not round the 2.75 into 2.8 you only round in the final step. So this applies to all math questions and you'll later realize this is actually very important. When it comes to rounding, you only get one opportunity to round and that's in the very final step. Do not round in the intermediate steps because if you do, your answer will be incorrect. So for example, if I round it up into 2.8 here, then if I type pi times 2.8 squared, my answer will not be correct. So basically, just remember, you only round in the very final step. All right. Question three, you just have to measure the diameter. So you have to get a ruler. You have to measure what this is. And then once you measure it, you can just halve it to get the radius and find the area. All right, so now I'm going to go through a different type of example. And these are kind of straightforward, as you probably already know. These are sectors. And they can also ask you to find the area of a sector. Now, to find the area of a sector, you, you just apply the same concept you would to find the length of an arc in the circumference exercise you just have to find the area of the full circle and then you multiply it by the po the proportion and you get the area right so first step you got to work out what the fraction of the circle is now we know that this is 90 degrees right because it's a right angle triangle i mean it's a right angle so then you just divide 90 by 360 you get one quarter of a circle once you establish it's one quarter of a circle to find the area you just have to do one quarter times by the area of the full circle and you get the area right so that's the concept behind this so i'm just going to go through a a question just to to illustrate this so question five says determine the fraction of a circle that is drawn then calculate the area okay so as you can see this is a 90 degree angle so the fraction is e is equal to what it doesn't matter if you use fraction or proportion it's all the same thing fraction is equal to 90 degrees divided by 360 which equals to 1 on 4, right? Okay, now to work out the area, area needs to be the fraction multiplied by pi r squared, right? Multiplied by the whole circle, so pi r squared. So this is equal to 1 on 4 multiplied by pi times by the radius. So the radius in this case is 4.5. Remember, this is the radius. This is not the diameter. 4.5 squared and then just type this into your calculator so one on four times pi shift pi times the radius in this case 4.5 squared and this gives you 15.9 now the question says calculate the area to the nearest centimeter squared. So this is just going to be 16, right? So 16 centimeters squared. 
So that's that's how you do a question like this. Basically, think of a sector as well. For this particular example, this particular example is just one quarter of a circle. So it's quite clear that to find the area of this, you find the area of the whole circle times it by a quarter, and you get the, the area of the sector. Okay, so that's all for today. Hopefully, this isn't too challenging. So I'm going to work through this exercise a little bit slower so that you guys get the most amount of time to understand the concepts. Thank you for listening.